Hi friends, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing on wipe coding and I will be demonstrating how can we do the wipe coding using local LLM. What is wipe coding? Right, Most of you have already heard about the wipe coding. It's an emerging approach in software development in which we will be using the natural language prompt to instruct the AI tools or AI agents to generate, refine or the debug code. So the advantage is the developers can focus on the intent of the software, right? So rest of the things will be handled by the LLM itself. And why local LLM is very important? So one of the, the first point we can say that it is important because of this privacy and the security. So we can ensure that our code never leaves our machine. So if you are using any other closed or the proprietary LLMs like OpenAI or Gemini or Anthropic, right? So we have to we have to send some instruction to their server and they will be generating the code and we have to send some kind of a context or sample code to their server and they will execute from there and they will return the code or the updated code to our machine, right? So in that case, we have to send some context to the server, okay? So some of the project which required um, high security the customers will never allow us to leave the code from our machine right so consider it's a healthcare domain or financial domain where the data is very very important or the algorithm is very important right in that case we have to ensure that our code never leaves our machine so that is a first important point and the second and third point that is actually debatable uh, right so one is the speed and latency and the third one is the cost efficiency so when we say about speed and latency so if the local llm is definitely we will have the high speed and the latency will be very low only if if we provide the necessary resources to the llm so for example if a llm which is required sometimes um, based on the, the, uh, the llm that that we are selecting it may require 24 gb of vram and it may require 64 gb of ram right if you are just select a mistral model okay so in that case if we didn't provide that much resources the the llm model will not able to respond in that much fast right so it will be slow and latency will be very high so it is depends upon the uh, the hardware resources that we are provided for the local llm then cost efficiency definitely we don't need to give or we don't need to pay per token cost okay but sometimes we have we will have to invest or we the cost the initial cost will be very high so for example i may have to buy a, a high end gpu machine for to run the local llm then the fourth point is the offline capability we can run the code anywhere right so we don't need the internet and we can run it the locally and it will provide the offline capability okay now the coding stack so in this video we will be using the visual studio code and we will be using the continue which is a open source AI assistant framework or AI assistant tool and we will be making use of Olama and we will be using the local LLM models okay so for that uh, first let me open the visual studio code okay so I have my visual studio code is open now here we can see in the left side okay I can search for some extensions so here we will have the extension for continue so let me search for it okay so this is the AI code assistant this is the open source AI code assistant which is continue right so let me click on the install and trust publisher so the installation is in progress so in between let me go and check my Olama okay so here Olama list Olama list so this will list uh, the models that currently I have in my local machine okay so what I am going to do I am going to download Llama 3.1 so let me okay so for that let me start it again so here you can search for Olama So, if you are first time with Olama, you can download the Olama from here. This is a very simple, straightforward uh, installation. Okay. So, based on the uh, your OS, you will able to download and install the Olama. Then go to the models. So here I'm going to use uh, Llama 3.1. Llama 
3.1 let me search for it okay so this is a llama 3.1 so i'm going to use olama run llama 3.1 okay so let me go to console and paste it here so download is in progress okay so in between let me go back to my visual studio code so the installation is completed so here we can see a new menu can be see continue so let me click on here okay so here we can see you will get a config machine or you will get a window something like this okay here we can do login to continue hub or we can configure your own model so let me click on configure my own model so this can be it's a open source uh, like AI assistant here we can use the open AI can be used anthropic can be used or gemini can be used here we are looking into the local llm so for that uh, let me click on more providers here we have a option let me click on olama okay so there are the models let me click on the connect okay so once we click on this we will get a configuration file here we will able to update the our configuration for local llm okay so for that what i can do i can just do some uh, update here model so let me copy and paste here copy and paste it here okay wait before that let me ensure that um, I don't want to save it here now so let me ensure that this is done so we'll wait for to complete the particular download then we can configure it okay so let me pause my video okay so here I have downloaded the Llama 3.1 and it is working fine. I just did a hi and I am getting the response back. So let me go back to my Visual Studio code. Okay. And um, let me, uh, so just click on this, um, the continue. Okay. So you will get a window something like this. And if you list out this here, I can see that Llama 3.1 is listed here. Okay. So in your case, if this is not listed, just close the Visual Studio code and start it again or restart it again. So you will get this particular model also. Okay. Our latest model also will be available in the model list. So let me go back and select Llama 3.1. Okay. And here I'm going to give the prompt. So I have already have a prompt. Okay. So let me copy and paste it here. Okay. So what I'm planning to do, I'm going to create a REST endpoint using fast API and to get the employee list. So the employee information will be in the, uh, in the employee.json file. I can say that create uh, files also. Okay. So let me execute it. Okay. So the execution is in progress. Okay, so LLM is already created the sample co code for me. Okay, so let me check this. Here I can see, let me scroll up. Here I can see the JSON file. Okay, so it says step one, create a JSON file, employee.json. Okay, so let me click on this, apply code. Uh, could not resolve the file part to apply. Let me show the logs. So let me open some folder here. Sample. Let me apply this. Okay, so maybe let me have employee dot employee dot JSON file. Let me go back and let me apply this here. Okay, so here I can see employee.json file is here. Okay, let me scroll it down. 
now step 2 create a main.py file uh, create a new file called main.py so let me create a file main.py here and what it does is it is importing the fast api and uh, here we can see that it is loading the employee.json and it is loading the json.load the file okay so let me scroll down little bit so here let me complete the code okay so this is applying the code here we'll see it may create some kind of a overlap Okay, I think there is a problem with the applying this so we have to do some kind of a correction here so let me do that so for the time being what I am going to do I am just copying the data and I am pasting it here okay so this is the code then what it's saying is that we have to do the ubicon main app colon app and reload this is what we need to run okay so before that i need to ensure that i have the necessary recommend or text file so let me check the recommend or text file uh, here okay so these are the two requirements that i need to run okay so let me add one environment file here so here I have my um, let me select one environment so here already I have an environment is there good so let me select it we have the terminal okay so here what I'm going to do I'm going to create a recommend or text file recommend dot text file Okay. let me go back to the continue and let me paste it here now I can run this down minus r requirement.txt file so the execution is progress so this is completed now let me go back and run the command command is here let me run this here uh, it says okay so let me go to the samples now let me run it again so it says my address is already in use so I need to stop uh, let me check that so main.py okay so let me kill that particular port then we can restart it again okay now uh, to check like if any other program is used that particular port number 8000 so what I have I have using is we are using a command like lsof minus i colon 8000 okay Okay, something is wrong here so let me try it again so 8000 so here I can see that the port the particular port 8000 is used by a program ID this particular program ID so let me kill that one so let me try kill 51446 okay now let me try it again okay now we are clear now we can start running it again so let me go back here okay so let me try it again I'm going to I am in a sample folder and I'm going to run uvcon main colon up hyphen hyphen reload so let me run it again so it says um, could not uh, import the module main okay so let me check my folder okay 
okay so this is the problem so my my main is in the src folder folder and i have, I have created the employee.json file in a sample folder okay so let me correct this so let me copy this employee.json within the src let me move this okay now let me switch this sample to src folder okay now i can run the same code so let me run it okay so the application is up now so what we can do we can uh, go back and i can do a curl command here let me see let me copy this i can copy this and let me go and do a curl command let me try a curl see here i can see that i am getting the response here i am getting id name as a john doe email as a john doe at, at example.com and second name is as a second name is also john doe so let me check this uh, let me check the json.employee okay here we can see in both cases or the, there are two employees both are in, in a john doe right so in this way we can easily use or e easily create a fast api program or any any program using the using uh, local llm okay so here we have used the uh, i have used um, llama 3.1 and you guys can use any latest um, code a, any latest llm so which will give the faster output but ensure that your machine support the particular model okay so that's it i think uh, it's clear and um, i think it's clear that how can we use wipe coding using the local llm so that is all about in this video please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye